know, the more you release your restrictions, the more people start moving, the more they start becoming complacent. You expect the cases to go up. And going up, they are. And it's going up not just in the solid black line of the new cases. Look at the gray bars. That's the seven day moving average of admissions at hospitals. And that we will depend on our strong public health surveillance and our public health response. And we're going to depend on people in, in your college to help us get people behave in a way that reduces their risk. I am sure that uh, the results of this symposium are not going to end here. They are going to be published in high international level journals. This is what we do in this college. We publish our research. The results are going to go into your thesis that are going to be given high credit. That is going to contribute to the successful careers of our students. And finally, I want to emphasize the importance of our industry partners who still manage to fund the event despite the economical impacts of COVID-19. Thank you for all the contributions that you have made. You have actually made a difference to the lives of our postgraduate students. So I think we've actually achieved our aim. Uh, you know, yesterday I was interviewed by one of the radio stations and they asked us what our aim was. And I said it was to showcase the research that we're doing there. So we've achieved our aim, which was to allow students to showcase their research, show South Africa, Africa and the international community, what part we are playing in solving the world's problems and highlighting our efforts to making the world a better place for all. So well done again to everyone involved.